G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's an interesting algebra question for high schoolers. It goes as follows. Andy's lawn has twice as much area as Beth's lawn and three times as much area as Carlos's lawn. Okay, it's a word problem. Uh, Carlos's lawnmower uh, cuts half as fast as Beth's mower and a third as fast as Andy's mower. Getting lost already. Uh, suppose they all start uh, to mow their lawns at the same time. Who will finish first? All right. A lot of information, maybe I can just translate information to math speak and maybe it's a little easier. So I uh, guess strategy number one, I kind of feel like I know what to do, engage in successful flailing, let's hope what I know what to do actually leads to something useful. All right, let's get all this information sorted out. Andy, Andy's lawn has twice as much area as Beth's lawn and three times as much area as Carlos's lawn. Let me put that into math speak. Notice how the names are A, B, and C, that's kind of handy. All right, so A's, A's area, Andy's area is I don't know what the area is, I'll just call it, um, uh, I won't use A, uh, L, L for lawn. The amount of lawn he has is L. That's twice as much area as Beth's lawn. So B's area, uh, oh, it's half of that, L over two. And Andy's lawn is twice as much as Beth's and three times as much area as Carlos's lawn. I have to keep rereading this question. So C's area, L is three times as much as that, that must be a third of L. All right, so these are the areas we're dealing with. And that's just the first sentence of the problem. Next sentence. Carlos's lawnmower uh, cuts half as fast as Beth's and a third as fast as Andy's. So let's start at the bottom. So Carlos's mower uh, cuts half as fast. We're talking about rates or something, I guess. Rates. So he's at some rate R. It's half the rate of Beth's mower. So B's mower, R is half of that one. So she must be cutting at double the rate. OK, that makes sense. And a third as fast as A's mower is a uh, third as fast, so he must be triple the rate. Sentence one of the problem, got it. Sentence two of the problem, got it. This feels very good so far. Now, what was the actual question? Uh, suppose they all start to mow their lawns at the same time. Who will finish first? So um, it's a time question. I want the time. Time. Well, I've got area. I've got the rate. So rate is uh, what? Uh, area per unit time, so time must be, uh, what's it going to be, area over the rate. Well, this is feeling good. This is feeling quite doable. I don't have actual numbers, but I've got pretty good formulas for each of these quantities. Maybe I'll just literally do area over rate and get information about the time for each of these guys and see who finishes first. Maybe this will fall into place. Well, this feels good. So I'm going to stop there and invite you to actually do this, this work here. Do I get the answer by following this sort of procedure? If we do get the answer, who finished first? And compare that answer with the essay that goes from the video. See what I get as well when I, when I do this problem myself. This is kind of good. All right, we'll stop there. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.